Hey Wednesday here and welcome to his stream overview. We have yet another fitness application put in the growing pile at this point. Weirdly enough, every single one is kind of unique on its own and it's hard to compare one with the other because it's all depending on the preferences and music genres, intensity, what you want to get out of it, like there's a lot of parameters to look for. <laughs> So his stream is an exercise fitness application where while spinning around in the environments you hit the targets coming at you in various shapes and form, listen to the energetic music while being on your fitness journey. The thing is that in VR you can work up a sweat in every single thing you do since it's a physical technology for the most part. So far from my personal impressions, his stream hits no pun intended, to me as a dancing app, simply because they used music, the choreographed moves and the whole fluidity in the notes doesn't really resemble true workout regimes. I wouldn't even call it full body one because you're essentially just flailing around your arms, sometimes move your head and crazily spinning around while just being bombarded by targets coming at a lightning speed. There's a very strong rhythm bass because you're better off listening to the songs and not look what you're doing. In terms of accuracy and scores, that's just what was working for me. The environments are 360 photos that are decent enough, I guess, to create an illusion. The tutorial was the most interesting part about it because it was happening in the meantime of loading the game and presented again by Meta Avatar. So there's another one that uses the voiceover characters. All in all, it's hard to place it in the exercise kind of ranking. Maybe something along the lines of synth riders but with very sharp moves and constantly changing flow in the gameplay. In its specific niche I think this is fine, though still to me Lemil is the king and that seems to be just the case moving forward, like polish is what I appreciate. <laughs> Let's go to the gameplay. Welcome to Hitstream. Here's a short tutorial to help you get the most out of the game. Hitstream is a rhythm game with 10, 20, and 30 minute levels. All of the moves are choreographed and timed to the music and color coded. Orange for the left, green for the right, purple for both, and pink for any hand. You'll also see pink circles, pass your head through these, and silver walls, which you'll need to step to the side to avoid. Objects will appear from the portals which are all around you, and scores are based on accuracy, strength, and continuity. There will be objects for you to punch or swipe, orbs for you to catch, and shields for you to block. Let's have a go. Punch left, punch right, punch left, punch right. Great. Now for swipes. Swipe the objects with the arrows. The arrows will show you which direction to swipe in. Swipe left. Swipe right. Swipe left. Swipe right. Let's practice that again. Swipe up. Swipe down. Swipe up. Swipe down. Swipes can be single or double. Try these doubles in a skiing motion. Swipe left. Swipe right. Swipe left. Swipe right. Great. Now for orbs and blocks. Catch left. Catch right. Catch with either hand. Block the shield with both hands. Catch left. Catch right. Catch with either hand. Block the shield with both hands. Fantastic. Move your head so that it passes through the circle. You may need to squat or lean. Let's try them out. Lean left. Lean right. Squat down. And return to standing. Now step to avoid the walls. Step left. Step right. Let's try multi-punch. These objects will bounce back when you hit them. Use alternating hands. The number on the object will show you how many times to hit it. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. What the? In extreme mode, you may see objects with shields. You'll need to hit these hard to break them. And there will also be purple objects with a zero. Hit them as many times as you can. That's it. Enjoy the game. Choose mixed or virtual reality. 
there's so much going on in the beginning, like holy hell, with the double loading sequence and then the tutorial mixed in into those. I mean, fair enough, it's just good for the time management. Also, what's up with the meta avatars recording nowadays? It seems like a lot of developers are actually using it and then just integrating it into the applications, which it's interesting, like it's just a new thing now, even though those avatars were around, now we actually see the utility of it. We have featured journeys, we have scenes. Scene one. Scene two. I wonder what's the quality of the 360. I mean, this is okay. There is a very big scale, but the quality is not the worst, I guess. I mean, I don't necessarily know what to Scene one. pick, really. Scene two. Scene one. Let's just do something random and then 10 minutes. For example, this. Please move to the center of your play area. Pull the trigger when ready. Interesting. There are some multiple angles, which I'm not looking forward to, if that will happen. Because I'll just hit something here. Game starting. There's some stats. <laughs> okay, is this a break or something? Move too much. What's going on, like, with the pauses and stuff? Oh. I see.
That's kind of intense. At last. Oh. <laughs> Bonus stage starting. What? That was not in the plan. Journey complete. What? Maybe that was like a uh, bonus points, but then you had to have like a good score to continue. I mean, let's just all the stuff going on. Let's just clear some thoughts. <laughs> I'm a little bit confused about the point of the game because it's not necessarily a workout. Like, yes, you get tired and you have some patches going on. But to me this is a dancing application purely because of the song selection and the dynamic, the notes and all of that. You really need to listen to the music because the notes come slower and then really quick at you. So it's more about if you have music rhythm rather than precision in hitting stuff. It's gonna be just hard to place it on the store currently seeing we have so many 
games or applications that could be related to workout regime. This is more like a dancey scenario with notes coming at you from multiple angles. I mean, this is literally a miracle I didn't hit my wall. And purely happening here on your upper body. Nothing really beside that. In terms of the graphics, if you even have the time to notice it while in the gameplay, the 360 is average. I mean, you can only do so stretching the big environments like that. The UI is okay, I guess. It's just not much really going on. So overall, I think this is fine. It's not catering to my needs or preferences because I would much rather play Lemuel and do an actual workout. I would just consider this as a dancing room game with a little bit of workout going on, but not much that you'll actually have a usage of it.